You're looking at messing with game textures now, but you're not sure how to view the DDS textures that the game uses. Thankfully, there are several options available to you, but for now we're just going to cover getting GIMP and some handy features it has, one of which is from the Space Engineers community itself. To start, we have to actually get GIMP. To do that, you just go to GIMP.org. Once here, it's pretty straightforward how to get it. It's just this red download button right here. Go ahead and click on that. It'll take you to this new page, and you can download it via BitTorrent or download it directly. I suggest downloading it directly, that way you don't have to install BitTorrent. It is kind of a big download at 100 megabytes roughly, but you should be fine mostly. Go ahead and just click on that, and it'll start the download. It might ask you how you want to save the file, just go ahead and click save file, and it'll start. Once your file is done downloading, go to where it downloaded. Here you can see the setup file, I just go ahead and double click on that. And the startup process has begun. Just go ahead and click on OK. Now you can customize it a little bit further. I like making sure I get it to the install path that I actually want. So go ahead and click on Customize, Next, and then set where you want it to go. For me, I want it to go into this additional folder here. So I'm just going to click Next. And here we have some extra options. I just go ahead and leave them all on there. You don't need the translations, but if you want them, go ahead and have them. I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. Click Next. Here you can select some file types that you could actually associate with it. Unfortunately, DDS isn't one of them. So we're going to have to get a plugin for that later. Just go ahead and click on Next. And you could choose to create a desktop icon or whatever. I don't. I use the toolbar. Next. And then Install. Once it's done installing, go ahead and click Finish. Now we're going to go ahead and do a first boot. And to do that, I just need to go to the additional folder, and then I need to go to GIMP2, and then bin, and then I can just right click this and pin to start. Now it'll show up at my start menu, and I could go ahead and click on that. And here we are with GIMP. You can see that it's a very small window, so we're going to go ahead and maximize that. And I really like having this docked to the window instead of having it free floating like that because it kind of bugs me and I feel like it gets in the way. But we're going to go ahead and set that as a docked toolbar. To do that, we just go up to Windows and then we go to Single Window Mode. And we go ahead and maximize that. From here, GIMP is pretty much good to go. We just need to get the DDS plugin that we'll be using. To do that, there's a link in the description below for a plugin by Equinox that actually uses the game's texture converter to get textures to and from GIMP. Once you click on the link, you'll be greeted by another GitHub page. Just go ahead and click the download zip. And then once it's done downloading, we'll go to where that is. From here, you can see a zip file that's shown up that's a whole bunch of letters and numbers. Just go ahead and right click that and extract to. Going inside that folder, we can see it's in another subfolder. And then we could see a py file, which is a Python script, and then a readme. Go ahead and double click on that readme. Here we can see what it's telling us to do. We need to download the file, which we have just done. We need to edit a line to say where our texture converter is. And we got that with the mod SDK for Space Engineers, or wherever you might have put it. And then we need to copy the script into the GIMP plugins directory. For instance, the program files. GIMP2 lib GIMP 2.0 plugins. To edit the binary, we need to actually go back to the folder it's in and double click on the py file. We're going to have to set an app to open this with, and you should be able to just open it with Notepad. Go ahead and click OK. And here you can see the code that we're looking at. From here, you can see the line that we need to edit. This binary equals and then a path. This is going to the texture converter that is in the mod SDK. To get there, we're going to open up another Explorer window. Then we're going to go to our common folder, Mod SDK. Then we go into Tools, Texture Packing, Tools, and here we can see the texture converter. Go ahead and right click your address bar, copy address as text, come in here and just select this first part and then paste. And now we have the full path of where the tool is going to be. Make sure there's a slash between tools and text convert. Additionally, the backslash isn't going to work, so we need to convert it to the forward slash. So go ahead and do that now. Don't forget to save once we're done doing the editing. From here, we go to the folder, 
and we select the file DDS texture converter file. And then we go ahead and put it into the plugins folder. So we go to additional, GIMP2, lib, GIMP, 2.0, plugins. And then we paste it into here. Once that's done, we just go ahead and open up GIMP, close it, restart it, and we can go ahead and try opening up a DDS. To do that, you go to File, Open, Local Disk C, Games, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Space Engineers, Content, Textures, Models, Cubes. And from here, we're going to go ahead and open up one of the DDSs. One of the ones that I know are for sure ABC7 DDS is the Black Metal underscore CM. And once we double click on it, it should load it up. And what it's doing is it's actually taking the texture converter that we linked to and using that to convert it to a DDS format that we can actually use. So that's very important and it's going to give you access to any of the vanilla texture files and you don't have to worry about whether it is a BC7 or not. You can go ahead and export it back to a DDS just by going to File, Export As, and then you can see I have the black metal cm.dds already selected. And we should just make sure that we have DDS selected. And it's right there. Clicking export. It's saying it's our, it already exists there. Just clicking replace. And it came up with the texture converter and it's done. So now you should have a DC7 DDS in your game file. So you have the best type of compression without the artifacting that comes from the BC3 DXT5 format that we were using previously. And that's pretty much all you need to know for getting the texture into here. As for a couple things that I suggest learning, it's to decompose the image. And what I mean by that is to put the image into its each individual layers. That way you can tell what is what which is very important for textures like the add map or the additive map for space engineers. To do that, you just go up to colors, components, and decompose. I usually try to make sure it always goes, always goes to RGBA. That means red, green, blue, alpha. And then you want to decompose it into layers. Clicking OK. I can now edit this texture as I need to, and you can see the options over here. So I have the red layer, green, blue, and alpha. There's nothing on the alpha layer because it's a metallic texture, so it's going to show up that way. I'll cover that more in a, another video. To recompose it, you just come over here to colors, components, and recompose. And then I'll set this image to be whatever you edit here and then put it all back into this. So you could just go ahead and export that directly again to be what it is. Lastly, when I talk to people, I tend to describe textures or texture layers as grayscale. And what I mean by that is going back to this decompose setup, these each individually are grayscale images. So you're not actually gonna see any red on this layer. You won't see any green on this layer because it's broken up. If I open up another file, like this terminal panel that you can't see because it has a full alpha layer, if I decompose it and I get this, you can see that there's actually color here. Like that's just the red layer. That's just the green layer. And that's just the blue layer. And then here on the alpha layer, I can actually recolor it to be white. And then if I recompose it, it's changed back to how it looks normally. Now, the reason why it is black here, that means that it's not metallic. So it's going to hide anything you see, but it's not important that you see the texture the way it appears. The layer information is important to the game. So your texture isn't necessarily going to look how it is it should look in the game. It's really hard to put into words simply, so you'll just have to see the videos in the future. All right, well, that pretty much wraps it up. You know how to get and install GIMP. You know how to work with DDS images that you normally need Photoshop to actually view. And it's thanks to Equinox from the Space Engineers modding community. And 
That pretty much wraps up this video. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to send me a message, and I'll usually get back to you fairly quick. If you like these tutorials, and would like to see more of them, or other types of videos more regularly, be sure to check out my Patreon. As a thanks for helping me out, I try to keep my patrons updated as to what's going on, and to provide support to any that need it. That's all for now. Take care.